Hi, I'm Louise and today I'm going to show you how to make a Totoro out of air dry clay. I recently saw the My Neighbor Totoro movie on Netflix and I really enjoyed it, so uh, I decided I wanted to make a paperweight in the shape of a Totoro out of air dry clay. Because I was impatient and I didn't want uh, to wait for the figurine to dry uh, for too long, I decided to use some paper for uh, the base. I'm using dust, but you can of course use uh, whatever brand you have or uh, enjoy the most. And don't forget to condition your clay before uh, starting to roll it. I didn't show this in the video because it's kind of boring, but you just have to knead it like um, a dough. After that, I uh, tried to make it uh, thinner, but not very thin as you don't want to see all the lumps from the paper inside. This is one of the most important steps as you want to smooth out uh, all of the imperfections because once it's uh, dry the only way to get out of the imperfections is by uh, sanding it but uh, i feel it's a lot easier and quicker to do it now than uh, later on you'll see that uh, mine was left uh, not entirely smooth but uh, i kind of like that um, rustic look but if you want it to be uh, perfect this is the moment to smooth out uh, any ridges and imperfections I didn't want to just paint on uh, his belly, so I uh, rolled out another thin piece of uh, clay to use for its belly. I'm using its body to guesstimate how big the belly should be. But uh, of course you don't uh, have to be perfect because we're going to smooth out anything. And don't skip this step because it's really important in order to have the pieces of clay adhere to one another.
you want to be really meticulous in this step because uh, we want to have a transition as smooth as possible and uh, not have it uh, so visible. For its little ears I'm using some wire, but you can also use uh, toothpicks or uh, whatever else you might have uh, lying around that uh, works for you. If you enjoyed this kind of videos, I hope you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my next crafts. After uh, this step was done, I left my Totoro to dry for about 3 days, but you might uh, have to leave it for longer or less time, depending on the weather conditions on uh, where you live. But this is how it looks once it's completely dried. As you can see in the back, I didn't uh, pay too much attention and uh, it shows. 
I didn't have a great detail like the enough for uh, painting my Totoro, so uh, I decided I'm going to just uh, combine some of the other colors and uh, mix it until I'm uh, completely uh, happy with it. For its belly I'm just using some plain white that I had uh, left over from another project. I forgot to mention but I'm using uh, acrylic paints as I've uh, used them with uh, air dry clay before and I'm really happy with the results. Depending on the paints you use, you might feel the need to go um, and paint uh, two layers. That's okay, just make sure that you let the first layer uh, dry completely before applying the second one. As you can see, this line was uh, a bit thick, but don't worry, I'm going to fix it. I'm just going to wipe it while uh, it's still uh, wet. Go with a bit of uh, white on top. And once that white is dried, I came in and did uh, the line again. Because I really like the scene at the bus station where uh, Totoro was um, keeping that big leaf as an umbrella, I uh, decided I was going to paint uh, a little leaf on top of his head, but uh, I don't know, I'm not really happy with it. But this is it, we have a Totoro out of air dry clay. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already like the video and maybe even leave a comment. See you on the next one. Bye!